Hello everybody, in today's episode we are going to be discussing how to manipulate and edit 3D models of animals in the game to make some custom new animals uh, with some different geometry. So if you followed the past tutorials, you should now have all the necessary tools for actually modding. Uh, that includes Cobra tools, Blender, everything you're going to need. Um, so without further ado, let's open up Cobra tools. Uh, here we go. Uh, basically... In this episode, we're going to be uh, making a cassowary, so I'm going to be using the ostrich rig, but uh, the same thing applies for any animal you want to manipulate. So for me, I wanted to just navigate to my Steam uh, Steam library, your Planet Zoo folder, and then uh, inside of it, you're going to want to go to your Animals folder, uh, which is in OVL Data, Content Zero, Animals and uh, find the one you want. So for the ostrich, I'm going to look in flightless birds. We're going to go to common ostrich. Common ostrich male, uh, it's going to start downloading everything. Popped in. I want to make a custom folder on my desktop. Let's just call it cassowary. Uh, and we're going to unpack everything into that folder. So cassowary, select folder. It's going to unpack all the assets that I need. If we look inside, there we go. It has all the assets I need, which is great. So now you're going to want to open up Blender. I already have it open. And uh, you should have uh, one of the more recent versions, uh, likely 2.8.2. .2. And if you installed the Blender plugin correctly, you should be able to import the MDL2 file. Um, and so that is going to be the actual model of the animal. So we can just uh, go to our desktop, look at our cassowary folder, and open that up, and that'll open up our ostrich model. So uh, give that a second. It's going to start loading. And then, here we go. Here's our ostrich. So again, I chose a cassowary because it's a kind of simple animal to manipulate. It's not drastically different from an ostrich. Um, the more different you get, uh, the more uh, difficult it's going to be. So I, I definitely would advise if this is your first edited mod, uh, you're going to want to basically stick to something that's very similar to it. So maybe, um, maybe you wanted to make a, what's a good example? Um, maybe a, a, a new ungulate. So maybe you were, you were using the Nyala and you wanted to make an Eland or something. Uh, and you just wanted to manipulate the horn shape uh, and like kind of the body and stuff. That's a good example. Um, and so primarily what I always do with, when it comes to my mods is I would just use the sculpting tool. I think it's the easiest thing to use for uh, a new player. And I also recommend uh, pulling up some reference images of the animal you're going to use. So I'm probably going to be using this one. A cassowary is very similar to an ostrich, like I said. So this isn't going to be super sophisticated. Um, and so I'm going to be basically just using the uh, primarily grab tool. I will sometimes use the sculpt tool, but uh, in the case of this, I just kind of want to manipulate maybe the beak a little bit, make it a little bit less... Uh, I don't know, like make it a little rounder, maybe, uh, make the head slightly larger. Uh, I want to give it that giant protruding, uh, horn that cassowaries are known for. Um, I, if you want a more sophisticated tutorial on how to actually sculpt in Blender, I would definitely, uh, recommend looking that up online. Uh, generally what I use is for the most part, the, uh, shift key, which is for smoothing. Um, so that'll give you like kind of a smoother shape when you're using, uh, some geometry. And, uh, then, uh, like I said, that grab tool, very useful. Uh, and you're literally just kind of sculpting. Um, so pretty much this is, uh, you know, a, a good base for the head. I want to maybe thicken up the uh, neck a little bit because cassowaries have kind of a uh, kind of meaty neck relative to ostriches. And then I could just smooth that out a little bit. 
and provided that you don't you know go crazy you're uh, you're gonna end up with a result that's pretty good looking um, cassowaries also have this kind of like turkey style like I forget what it's called but it's like a little flat piece of uh, skin skin flap that basically comes out and even if it uh, deforms a little bit that's okay it probably won't be too big of a deal uh, we can maybe make this neck a little bit bigger on the sides like so there we go and I think overall the feathers and stuff are fine uh, I kinda wanna just do that and I think even the the toes uh, which are apparently a different layer which I can look at that is also fine uh, so for the main part the main difference I mean I could definitely go a lot more advanced into the details on like you know uh, you know what how how good looking I, I might want this uh, cassowary to look but for now I think it's a uh, pretty good uh, reference point for what I want I actually do want to make this uh, a lot bigger though Just kind of extend it out. And then just kind of manipulate the sides like this a little bit. Alright, I think that looks pretty good. So now, uh, let's uh, just quickly kind of beef up those legs. So you can want you want to go into maybe a, another part of the model. All of your uh, model layers are going to be off to the side here. So you have the uh, the first layer, which is the, the main body. The second layer, which is like the mouth and stuff. Third layer are those legs, which is what I want. So we can just kind of uh, select that layer, go to sculpting. And uh, let's use the inflate tool. So uh, where is the inflate tool? Um, inflate, there we go. So let's just beef up those uh, scrawny chicken legs. Because cassowaries have thick, thick legs. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, I think that looks good. So now uh, this thing, you know, is looking pretty good. I actually want to go back to the body a little bit uh, and maybe cover up some of the, um, the leg uh, using the sculpt tool. Go to sculpting. So if we just use the sculpt tool, we can kind of cover it up a little bit. I actually want the grab tool probably because it looks like it's slightly a different layer. Up oh, too much. And like I said, like this. It, this is the sort of process where you could definitely uh, manipulate it for, you could constantly be like making small tweaks and adjustments and stuff. Um, and I think primarily, I think this is looking pretty good now. Yeah, so I think I'm satisfied with that for now. I think it looks pretty good. So now um, I should mention this layer. If you look at usually the last layer on most animals, the only ones that I don't think have it are the reptiles, and that makes sense. This is your fur slash feather layer. So it's invisible by default, and the only way you really get to see it is if you go to the modeling um, tab. So it is here, uh, and you can see it. Now, my suggestion is um, what I like to do, at least, is just get rid of it entirely. I think it it really messes up the fur layer, and while you can do a custom fur cage, um, it's almost better to just totally get rid of it. But you need to make sure that you always keep at least one triangle of geometry. So I'm going to uh, select this tab that goes into x-ray and also lets me select both sides. And then I'm just going to like uh, left click over the entire thing and just delete all of this geometry, delete all the faces. And then this little area over here, uh, you just want to keep 
uh, at least one triangle. You can keep a couple, it's fine, that shouldn't really make much of a difference. Um, and it's just so that it doesn't delete this whole layer. So now, this is, uh, this is basically our full uh, custom model done. So now, what I like to do, since you have to make uh, all of your LODs, the easiest way to do that is if you hit Control or uh, Shift D, you can copy the layer. It'll make a copy here, and it says Model 1, and just move it to LOD 1. And since we are going to be replacing Model 5, we're going to copy the name of Model 5. We are going to delete Model 5, and then we are going to paste the copied layer from LOD1 as Model 5. So we're essentially just replacing the file with the ones from LOD1. And uh, so let's do the same for the uh, leg layer. So we're going to copy that. We're going to move it down and find the leg layer for uh, this model. I believe it's Model 7. Uh, yep. And then just paste that over. There we go. And now uh, we want to take that fur layer that I mentioned and just copy that. And that'll be model 26. Delete. Paste the new name. Cool. So now uh, uh, for the first two LODs of the game, which are the two closest uh, camera angles, it will look like a cassowary now. And uh, then you can go even further. Um, so, for instance, if we want to go another layer down, uh, copy layer 10, paste that into LOD2. So now that looks good. Now, uh, I might also hide some layers just so that you see what you're doing as you're going. Uh, I think that's always a bit easier just to see what you're doing. So uh, the leg layer, we can just find our old leg layer here it is model 7 copy that bring it in uh, let's find which leg layer is it where's the leg layer that's it copy layer 12 paste it this is the tedious part um, now, for the remaining LODs, I recommend you do this next step. I think it's very important. So, LODs are meant to be levels of detail, which are different, um, basically, they're, they're lower polygon models that retain the basic silhouette of your character. Now, that's a lot of big words, and I, you know, I'm going to explain it the best way I can. Essentially, the further out you are from a character model, right? the lower detail it can be. So for instance, uh, let's look at the LOD5. If I'm from this distance looking at the animal, you can't even tell that there's a difference between this and this model and the layer one model because they look so like similar from far away. But if we zoom in close, as you can see, this is barely even like geometry. This is just some very rough shapes of a basic shape of an ostrich. And the same premise goes for each LOD layer. So this is a slightly more advanced version, even more advanced. And so what we're going to want to do to make custom geometry or uh, custom LODs is basically go into the modifier tab of Blender. If we go into here, and there's a button called Decimate. If you hit Decimate, you can then use this slider here, and you can see it's slowly kind of deforming the geometry not by a ton but it's significantly reducing the amount of geometry which is very good for um our actual uh model in the game so what i like to do is then take this decimated layer and then copy it to the next layer we'll replace uh the the third layer reduce it down a little bit more copy this one go down to lod4 delete that reduce it down a little bit more and then for model 5 literally just kind of decimate it down to like practically that kind of like barely geometry look where it's just the very very basic look um and then you could do the same for the leg layers so uh here's our leg layer let's add a decimate modifier go down a little bit copy it bring it over, if 
find this leg layer at 16. Decimate it down a little bit. Bring it down. And like I said, it's just a little bit of t tedious labor, but again, this is very good for optimization of your game. So I highly recommend doing it, or else you could have some mod m mods that are so sophisticated that they literally like kind of break your game <laughs> uh, just by the amount of detail you have. I think I actually probably could go a little bit lower on the second to last layer I did. Let's bring this down all the way. And on this layer, let's go a little bit further down. So yeah, so now uh, with all that being said, we uh, now have our modified animal, the cassowary, and we have all of our layers. So now you want to uh, click the first layer at the bottom, LOD5, uh, in my case, common ostrich male model 24, and then shift click all the way up to the top. Now every single layer is selected. So now we want to just do file, export, MDL2. We're going to basically save out our ostrich file. And what you want to do is select that cassowary folder we made originally and select the original MDL2. It's going to make a basically a copy of the new thing. You might get uh, an error uh, that says the orientation is different. That's fine. The orientation uh, warning is fine. You do uh, If you have a serious issue, um, it might say you might have deleted faces or something. Then you're going to have to kind of restart the process. And that is the pain of model manipulation. But the good news is, I believe we made a clean uh, model. So if we look in our folder, here uh, it'll create a folder called export. And here is our custom MDL2 file. So now, if we want, we can just hit edit and then inject that new model um, into our game. So if we go to export, we're injecting that new model. And then we need to hit file and save over the actual model in game. So now, uh, where is it? Playlist birds, uh, common ostrich, male. We overwrite this, hit yes. And now if we load in our game, we will have a ostrich that looks like a cassowary with an ostrich texture. So in the next tutorial, I will be going over how to make it look more like a cassowary using an advanced technique uh, that wasn't using uh, Photoshop. So uh, stay tuned for that next tutorial and we will have a proper looking cassowary. Stay tuned.